Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike with the Baird Pre-Owned Supercenter. Uh, you know, we're here at our new location. We're going to call it the new location for a long time. Uh, we're here on the corner of Parker and Stadium, uh, just south of the I-555 bypass, uh, just south, south side of Jonesboro. Easy to get to in almost any direction you come from. Uh, you know, we've got this new lot here. We've got a lot more room. Uh, it allows us to carry a lot more inventory. Uh, and most importantly, we now have our service department. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, you know, our service department back here, it's a full service service department. We can do everything. Uh, oil changes, tires, uh, you know, you got that check engine light on. Um, I mean, just, I uh, actually had one of my vehicles in here last week. Uh, we put a new lower control arm and new uh, axles in it. The CV boots were, uh, were leaking grease. So they can do all that. Uh, whatever kind of vehicle you have, it doesn't matter, make or model, we work on them all. Uh, we can handle just about anything that you can come up with. So uh, if you are looking for a service department, uh, we want you to come by and check us out. And matter of fact, uh, since I'm shooting this a couple days early, I can go ahead and announce this today. I, was, I forgot all about it. You know, I, I, tell, I tell you guys, I come out here sometimes, I, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to talk about. But uh, this week, uh, it has just been announced that we were voted uh, the best pre-owned auto dealership again in Northeast Arkansas. That's the third year in a row, okay? Uh, but this year, we were also voted uh, the best oil change in the best auto repair facility in Northeast Arkansas. So we were able to add to that this year by having that service department. And it's funny, I, we get here this morning, it's kind of like, if you're watching that, you're thinking, why did you almost forget that? I don't know. It's because we weren't able to talk about it for a while, okay? It's, it's hush hush until it's announced on a particular date. The time's here, so I can tell you all about that. So we're gonna be, t we're gonna be talking about that a lot though. Uh, but you know, that's, a, that's something that's voted on by people here in Northeast Arkansas too. So uh, we're, we are very, very thankful, uh, very blessed uh, to have been voted, uh, again, the best pre-owned auto dealership for the third year in a row. Uh, but now the best auto repair facility and best oil change, uh, that's a pretty big deal because there's a lot of repair shops here in town uh, and outside of Jonesboro. There's a lot of places that you can get your oil changed. Uh, you know, if you voted for us, uh, we want to say thank you so much uh, because it really does mean a lot to us. Uh, but I think that comes back, that's a testimony to, you know, what we are able to offer back there, uh, quality service. Uh, taking care of you. You know, the great thing is, you know, we have the capabilities to do anything. Uh, we're not overly busy all the time, uh, and that's great because we can kind of slow down and take care of you as a customer. You know, some places you get into, they're just so big, it's like you call them for an oil change, and they're like, oh, well, we're booked up this week. It's going to be like two weeks before we can see you for an oil change. And hey, you know, when you're getting your oil change for a guy, it's kinda, probably kind of like getting a haircut, right? It's like one of those things you got you got to go do you don't really want to take time out of the day. Uh, so it's good to get that done, get it knocked out, get it over with, get you back on the road. Uh, we do uh, believe in maintaining your vehicle properly. Uh, that is the most important thing you can do to keep your vehicle lasting a long time. Uh, I have seen evidence over the years of folks that didn't change their oil. Uh, I have seen cars usually go about 40 or 50,000 miles uh, without an oil change before the engine developed a massive problem. A lot of times it ended up, meant, uh, ended up meaning that the engine had to be replaced. So that does happen. Uh, so we definitely say, hey, change your oil, get that stuff done. Uh, now a lot of these cars, you don't have to change your oil, but every 10,000 miles. So it's not like you're, you know, it's like you're getting a skip to oil changes. You're doing it, you know, every 10,000 miles now. So, you know, it's not that big a deal. Just come in, get it knocked out. Uh, while you're here, you know, especially with those longer oil change intervals at 10,000 miles, good thing to go ahead and get your tires rotated, balanced if you felt some vibrations in them while you're going down the road. Uh, and then also have things like your brakes checked out. So when you used to get your oil changed every 3,000 miles, it's kind of like, it's like you're always having it in there, always getting it checked out. You, you would forget about the things like the tire rotation balancing, you know, getting your brakes checked out. But now more important, it's important to have that stuff done while you're having that oil change because it could be 10,000 miles before your car is back in the shop before somebody looks at it. So that's a long period of time to make sure, you know, you don't want your brakes running out on you. Uh, we traded for a vehicle uh, a couple weeks ago, matter of fact, 
right as they were pulling in, the customer was like, hey, I don't know what happened, but as we were pulling in, the brakes were making a crazy sound. We go outside, we look at the vehicle, there's brake fluid uh, coming out from the left front wheel uh, all over the ground. The caliper had actually, uh, or yeah, the caliper had actually pushed the piston all the way out so much that all the brake fluid leaked out of the vehicle. Come to find out when we got it on the lift in the shop checked out, there was no brake pad left. It was down to the metal backer plate and it was all twisted up and gnarled because of the caliper piston. So long story short, there were no brakes on that car. And that would have been one of those situations that, you know, thank goodness they were pulling in a lot when that happened, because if you were going down the bypass or something like that and something happened in front of you and you went to get on the brakes and you had no brakes, that would be a bad situation. So make sure you're getting your brakes checked while you're getting, uh, you know, oil changes, things like that done. It's good to know uh, where you stand on that status. So uh, we've got some new inventory. Uh, we're going to talk about some cars today as usual. Uh, you know, it's beautiful uh, springtime weather here. Uh, probably when you get done with uh, watching this this morning, you've had your coffee and you've had your breakfast. So you know, it's probably time to start thinking about what kind of yard activities you got planned for the day, right? You got to mow today or uh, maybe if you're like me, you got to pull up some of those old bushes that died in the hard freeze that we had this winter. So uh, just kind of that time of year, right? Um, but we've got a lot of inventory in. Uh, I'm going to show you some cars that we got in. Um, you know, there is a shortage of vehicles right now. We've talked about it before. And you can drive around, uh, look at other car dealerships, and there is a shortage of inventory. And although we've talked about the fact that there is a shortage of inventory, we have not talked about why. Uh, if, you, you know, if you don't watch the news, uh, basically there's a microchip shortage. And it has severely affected the automobile industry. Long story short, they quit ordering a bunch of parts last year. Demand was high, you know, high through uh, 2020. Uh, so basically, the manufacturers, a lot of them, have run out of the chips, and then the suppliers of the chips were not ready to ramp up big time. So uh, there are factories. Uh, I just saw. I mean, I read about them almost every day. Factories that are shutting down sometimes for a two-week period. Uh, I saw one the other day that was a two-month shutdown. They shut a factory down for two months. That's making a very popular car uh, because of a microchip. Those little bitty microchips. Uh, you know, a lot of cars have them, well, they all have them, uh, but a lot of cars have a lot of them, uh, as much as 30 of them are on each vehicle, uh, and they do all kinds of things from basic, you know, make the car function to, you know, help get extra, you know, good fuel economy, uh, things like that. But we still got inventory, and I'll talk more about that here in a minute. So, uh, this is a 2020 Dodge Ch uh, Challenger GT all-wheel drive. Uh, so this is a all-wheel drive Dodge Challenger. This is a great option for somebody who wants a sports car uh, that's got 305 horsepower, uh, but they want to be able to drive comfortably in all weather conditions, all road conditions. So when you got all wheels turning, it's just going to drive better. It, it handles corners better, uh, you know, unless you're, a, I guess, a spirited driver and you like to have your car, you know, running on the edge of traction. The all-wheel drive is going to give you that traction all the time so you're not in those situations. Uh, it's safer to drive. It's better in rain. Uh, rain, you know, We've had a lot of rain here lately, so this is a great springtime car for sure. Uh, inside, you got a nice uh, Napa suede leather combination, the big touchscreen radio. It's got a lot of features on it, uh, but this car only has 7,500 miles on it. Uh, and of course, as you see, I'm getting a lot of the information right here from the window sticker. That's the same thing you can do when you come to our lot and shop. You can check this window sticker out. We've got all the information right there. Uh, the package it is, how many miles per gallon, uh, the engine, the mileage, and most importantly for us, the price. Uh, we think that price is extremely important for several reasons. And I know I've talked about it many, many times. But one, it just makes it easy, right? You can come to the lot, you don't have to ask anybody, what's the price of this car? You can look at it and say, okay, that one's in my budget, or that's eh, a little bit more than I was looking to spend, let me see what else you got. And then you can walk around and look at the other cars, compare them side by side. So uh, the price is not anything that we think should be a mystery or hidden. Uh, although uh, it is still very common to this day uh, that dealerships don't want to give pricing out. Why is that? It's the game, it's, I mean, they're trying to make a big commission, I guess. Uh, you know, this is for you as the customer. It's also to protect us as the store. And it even is to protect the salespeople so that they, you know, even if they didn't know the price, 
they might guess on it, right? And if they guess, they could guess high or low. If they guess too low, then you know we're gonna say, hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, the salesperson made a mistake, the car is not that price. Or if they price you too high, then you feel like, hey, they're giving me the run around, they're trying to rip me off. That does happen. I literally had a lady in here just the other day. She said, hey, I, I was going to a dealership in Memphis. I already knew which car I was looking at. I had looked at it online. They had the information online. They had the price online. She said, I went to the dealership and they priced me the car $5,000 higher than it was listed online. Uh, her and her husband said they were instantly upset, but they didn't say a single word and they just left. And then they came back to Jonesboro, bought a car from us. So, uh, you know, that stuff does happen. Uh, it still happens to this day. It's just, I can't even believe it at this point. Uh, it's, it'd be one of those things that it would be, that's, that is, it's dishonest, really. Uh, and if I ever had an employee that did something like that, I'd say, Asa La Vista, you're gone. Uh, but I don't have to worry about that because we do price all of our vehicles. We make it simple for everybody from the start. And, and we don't just throw a number on the vehicle. We do a lot of research on, ahead of time. We look at the package, the equipment, the condition of the vehicle. We look at the market values and we say, okay, this is a fair competitive price. Uh, you know, some people don't like that. Some people want that crazy price you know, to start with and then negotiate for hours and then end up at what is a fair and considerable price. Uh, so we just skip all that. We get straight to the point. Uh, it's great for everybody because it's low pressure. It's no pressure for us. You know, my sales guys, they are not very good at negotiating because there's not much negotiating to do. Uh, and that's a good thing for you as the customer. Uh, you don't have to be a professional negotiator to shop here. Uh, we do a lot of that easy uh, research up front. You know, if we don't do it, uh, there's other dealerships that do. Uh, of course, you all know the name Carvana. Uh, Vroom is another big one. Those are online, internet-only car dealerships. You can't go to their lot and check anything out, but you can get online and you can buy a car and have it delivered to your house. Um, you know, that's for you if you feel comfortable not doing the traditional come check it out, test drive it kind of process. But here we do that same process, but we allow you to come test drive the car. And we want you, the, the thing about shopping online, it is convenient, no doubt about it. But one thing you cannot do online, you cannot test drive a Challenger and then turn around and, and test drive the Dodge Charger right next to it, right? You can't do that. Uh, it's just not possible. Uh, when you're buying online, you pretty much have to know what you want to buy and you're buying it if you want it, you know? Um, here, so you can come drive, test drive this and you might say, you know, I'm just not feeling the cars right now. Let me go look at some SUVs. So we can go look at some SUVs right here, uh, right now in one place. Uh, and that is a big advantage of this pre-owned Supercenter lot is we do not specialize in any one particular make and model. We carry, carry a lot of variety. Uh, you know, so, you know, if you're, if you're looking at a Dodge Charger, Dodge Chargers have a lot of great interior space for a sedan. They're one of the largest cars on the market. You can say, I like that, but maybe I'm looking for something else. Looking a little bit different style. We can take you over here and I've got a Toyota Avalon. So I know I've mentioned one of these before because we had an Avalon a couple weeks ago. Uh, the back seat and these are fantastic. They're huge. Uh, this is like what sedans used to be. Uh, but they're a lot cooler now. They, they drive better and they have more safety equipment and more features and uh, they just, they get better fuel economy. So there's a lot of benefits to the new cars, but this Avalon has a lot of uh, rear seat space, a lot of interior space uh, that you can be comfortable in this car. So, you know, right there, we just walked, you know, what, 50 paces, came over here. We got another car you can compare side by side, check them out. Uh, or right next to us here, I got another Dodge Charger. You can look at it, check out the equipment in it. That's the advantage you have over shopping at a place like our dealership right here. If you're looking at SUVs, you can compare different makes and models all side by side, test drive them back to back, get a feel for it, and find the car that you want and feels best to you. Uh, I do uh, definitely recommend, you know, when you're coming to look at a vehicle, no matter where you're going, test drive the car. You'd be surprised how many folks don't want to test drive the car. And I don't know if that's just like perfect for the uh, online dealerships like Carvana. Uh, they probably love that. Uh, we want you to test drive it because here's the deal. There's not a car on this lot or any car lot that is not inexpensive or not expensive. Let me say it like that. I, I said it wrong. That's not expensive. 
they are all expensive. If you figure out the cost of a car, they're just expensive. It's gonna cost you a lot of money to own it. And if you own it or you buy it and you don't like it, that's an even more expensive mistake. But if you get what you want, you, it drives the way you want, you're comfortable in it, you like the options in it, you're gonna be happier driving that car every day uh, you know, and, and really enjoying it. And it's gonna be a lot easier when you gotta go make a, a car payment on it if you're financing, you know. Uh, who wants to pay for something that they completely don't like? Uh, it happens, you know, but we, we want you to experience several other cars, so hopefully that does not happen to you. Uh, let's go up here and take a look at some other SUVs. So while we're walking, I was talking about the chip shortage, the microchip shortage. Uh, that is a thing that's going to be going on for a long time. A lot of the market analysts say, you know, we could, even GM themselves say we can be looking at 2022 before there is a resolve for that supply chain issue. Uh, that being said, it's not stopping us. Uh, we're buying cars, we're going to different auctions, we're reaching, we're doing whatever we have to to buy inventory to make sure that we've got that inventory uh, because we still want you to have a great selection. So when you drive around and you check out other dealership lots, you're gonna see there's a lot of inventory, uh, a lot of lots that are short on inventory. We're gonna have a bunch here. Uh, I've actually got right now uh, about 55 cars on the lot right now. I've got 45 being processed to come onto the lot. They should be on the lot within the next week or two. Uh, we are selling a lot of cars, we're selling them fast, uh, and, but we're buying more right now even than what we're selling. So we found uh, places and ways to buy the cars so they still make sense. Um, you know, we want it to be a, a great experience for you, no matter what it is. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's our problem to figure out an inventory shortage. It's our problem to find out how to get and you know, to figure out the inventory problem, right? Not you. If you're the consumer and you want to go look at a car, you just want to have access to buy some inventory. And there's nothing worse than wanting to buy something and you can't find it anywhere. So uh, that's what we're working uh, real hard to do to make sure that we have that uh, instead of just you know sitting back. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, full-size SUVs here. Uh, this is a 2020 Ford Expedition, and the window sticker in this one is starting to fall out, so we will be out here later on to replace that. But there will always be a window sticker in every single car. Uh, this is the Expedition Max. That means it's the longer wheelbase. It's the limited package. Uh, these are great vehicles. You've probably seen me show these uh, other times. We have a lot of these come through, and they sell very good. Uh, they're very expensive, brand new. Uh, that's why buying pre-owned is a good way to go. Uh, because you're going to save a lot of money. Uh, we spend a lot of time making sure these cars look really good, so that way when you do buy it, uh, you can drive it and you can feel comfortable owning it. And it doesn't have to seem like you saved a lot of money just because it looks like it didn't cost as much money. We want it to look good for you uh, when you buy that car. So every one of our cars goes to the shop uh, for a thorough inspection, mechanical inspection. Uh, we do look at cars from time to time, and uh, we get them up on the lift, we see things that I couldn't see when I appraised the car or when I bought the car, and a lot of times we turn those cars down and we, uh, we get rid of them, we send them to the auction, okay? Uh, just last week, uh, we had a car, we got it up on the lift, it had an oil leak. It's the oil pan gasket, no big deal, right? Put a new oil pan gasket. While we're doing that, we realized there was another leak, and there was another leak, and then we realized that there were some bolts that weren't factory bolts. Anyway, long story short, this car had been tinkered with a whole bunch. Somebody else had been messing around there didn't look like it was evidence of a good mechanic either. Uh, so it was one of those cars that we got, we got all the oil leaks fixed because we needed that fix to wholesale the car. But when we got done looking at it, we were like, you know what, somebody's been tinkering with this thing, messing with it in ways that probably shouldn't have been messed with. Let's just not even mess with it. It's not worth the risk to sell you that car just to make money. Um, that's a car that you know, unfortunately, it will probably be an issue for somebody. It might not be. It could be a good car. I don't know. But it just, like I said, there was too many visible signs that people had been working on it a lot. That car went bye-bye. So uh, it's not here. It's not for sale. You don't have to worry about that one. Um, but we run them through the shop. We check them out. Uh, then we go through a full detail. Hey, if the car needs tires, we're putting tires on. If it needs brakes, we're putting brakes on. If it needs a battery, we're going to do it. Uh, I got some detail guys back here that are really good. Uh, when they detail the car, uh, they shampoo the carpets, they buff the paint, they really spend a lot of time. It takes them a good solid six to eight hours to detail a car. That's a lot of work. Uh, you know, if you've ever got out and cleaned your own car, 
uh, you, you know, you're not a professional detailer, nor am I, unless you are. Uh, but you know, you go out there and you spend like an hour and a half uh, just vacuuming, right? Uh, if, if these guys are vacuuming, they're probably vacuuming for twice as long. Uh, they really do a good job of making sure that the cars look great. Uh, so this is a Infiniti QX80. I've got several of these on the lot. Uh, this is a 2020, so this is the newest one that I have. Uh, this is the Lux package, L-U-X-E. Uh, there's a couple, they got the Lux, the Essential, uh, the Limited, and they've got one that's just, they call it the base. Uh, you know, I figure if a manufacturer is going to have a really nice high dollar vehicle like this, they should probably call the basic trim package something other than base. It's a terrible name. This went in the base though. So this is the Lux. Uh, this one's got 49,000 miles on it. Uh, very, very nice. We sell a lot of these as, as well. This is a two wheel drive. The 2020 has a new updated deal. It's got like your regular screen on top and it's got a big giant touch screen below it. It's got a lot of things in it and you can customize. So it's basically like two screens and they operate independent of each other so you can do two different things at a time. Uh, that's what we all need, right? We need more screens. Um, we got bucket seats in the second row, third row seats. Uh, people love these. These are a great alternative to like Chevy Tahoe or the Ford Expedition like we showed next to it. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of luxury in these cars. They, they really are. They very, they're very nice. So, uh, Power lift gate. They have tow packages hidden under the bumper. You can pop the little cover off and uh, look under there and get your tow package ready to go. You don't have to go spend money on that. So we've got uh, some Lexus vehicles on the lot as well too. This is one uh, we just got added to the lot. This is a 2017 Lexus IS turbocharged. Uh, it has 36,000 miles on it. It is very nice. Heated and cooled leather seats on the inside. Uh, very nice looking car. Sporty, fun to drive. Has really good looks. I love the styling that Lexus does. They, they really do have a unique style that stands apart from everybody else. Um, you know, there's nothing more boring than spending a bunch of money on a car and it looking boring, right? Uh, Lexus does a good job of not, they, they, they put a lot of time and effort into their styling. This little bar right here is actually an LED light bar. So when you're driving down the road, it's pretty nice. Kind of like daytime running lamps. Of course, we're, we're all used to seeing those LED lights now in the front of cars are starting to become pretty common. We talked earlier about comparing different makes and models, so that was a Lexus right next to it. We've got a 2020 Infiniti Q50 sedan. Uh, this is actually a three liter twin turbo V6, 18,000 miles. Uh, so that's cool because you can, you, can, you can drive that car, you can drive this car. I've actually got a Audi a4 going through the shop right now. I've also got a Jaguar XE sedan. So if you're looking for a nice luxury sedan, I've got several makes and models. You can check them all out in one place, drive them side by side, uh, and really get a good feel for them. So you'll notice uh, all of our, almost all of our cars have this factory warranty badge on them. And what that means is that this car has some of its factory warranty left. Uh, and inside the car is the Carfax folder with the actual information on the day that that warranty expires and at what mileage it expires as well too. So you got that there. Uh, and, you know, and while we're standing here talking about window stickers, I want to point out this other sticker. We always talk about our price sticker, right? But there's this other sticker in here and it is still the most confusing piece of information in the automobile industry. So if you look at it, it says, as is, no dealer warranty. Well, this car still has warranty through infinity but what this means is that the dealership, Baird Pre-Owned Super Center, does not warranty the car. Uh, if you go across the street to our competitors, they have that same buyer's guide in the car. It also says, as is, no warranty. Uh, that, again, does not mean that it does not have factory warranty. It just means that the dealership doesn't warranty the car. Um, that is a sticker that is required from a law from 1976. It's still there. It's got to be there. It's a $16,000 fine per car for not having that sticker on there. So we make sure it's on there uh, nice and easy to see. So uh, again, all that means is the dealership itself does not warranty the vehicle. Uh, it means that the manufacturer uh, warranties the vehicle, not us, okay? So there's a difference and that's, and that's better. You really want the manufacturer to be warranting the car, not us. If we're the only one, then you only can come to us. 
Infinity, you can go to Infinity, any Infinity dealership in the country covered by warranty. So uh, it's better for you anyway. Um, you know what? Let me go back up here. We're going to walk around the back of these cars, but um, I don't know if I've talked about this car yet or not. This is a 2020 Nissan Maxima that has 2,600 miles, basically a brand new car. Uh, the Maximas are great sellers. We've sold a lot of them. They do quite well. People love them. That would be a good car to compare to that Dodge Charger, the Toyota Avalon we looked at earlier. Or you could even compare right here next to this. So we talked about luxury cars a minute ago. Here's a 2017 Mercedes E300 Sport, another all-wheel drive sedan. It's a pretty common thing I, I think you're starting to see now. Uh, definitely a head-turning car. Uh, it's got a lot of great features in it. Uh, this one does have 62,000 miles on it. Um, sunroof loaded up with lots of features in it. 32,992. Uh, let's see. We kind of walk over here. We're going to run out of time today, as usual. We always run out of time. I could probably stand here and just talk like all day, but most of you probably wouldn't watch me for more than 30 minutes. So we're going to keep it at 30 minutes. But uh, as we're walking around, if you saw something in the background. And you say, hey, I'd like more information, or I'd like to see more pictures of this car. You know, you can always go to our website at BairdPreOwned.com. Uh, on our website, you're going to see photos of all the vehicles for sale. Uh, you're going to see the pricing. Uh, you can see the original factory window sticker and see which factory packages the car has. Uh, you can see the Carfax. You can see how much of that warranty is left on there. You can also uh, shop by payment on there. We've got a tool that allows you to shop by payment. And we even have some financing options available. So you can put in a credit application online if you'd like to check with us on financing. We've also teamed up with Capital One. Uh, they're one of the largest banks in the world. Uh, we are a premier dealer with them. So they're actually, they actually have a tool integrated into our website where you can uh, get pre-qualified for financing without running your social security number. And they can give you uh, some details. And then you can also shop by payment on the inventory that we have as well too. So. There's a lot of great tools on there. You can value your trade on there. Uh, all this stuff, you do not have to. You do not have to reach out to us if you don't want to. You can use those tools without putting in all your information on there. Uh, we do that by design because we want you to feel comfortable that we gave you a lot of information and that you're ready to proceed to the next step. So then you choose to give us that information. Some sites you go to, you have to put information in just to even see their inventory. That's crazy. You know, I mean, if you don't if you don't have a gatekeeper at the lot making you give all the information just to come on the lot, why would you do that on the internet? Silly. Uh, car dealerships get in their own way a lot of the times. <laughs> we try to make sure that we do not get in our own ways at any point in time. We want to make the shopping experience easy for you. We want you to want to do business with us. Uh, that's how we operate. That's probably one of the reasons we got voted best pre-owned auto dealership. Uh, in Northeast Arkansas three years in a row and also now best oil change and best auto repair, auto repair facility. That's a lot to say. But anyway, hey, thank you so much for your time today. We ran out of time, but check us out on our website and or stop by the lot anytime. We'd love to visit with you and y'all have a great day.